We have Rajiv Tanan, Chief Commissioner of Customs, Jawaharlal Nehru Custom House. Uh, so thank you very much for joining us and uh, talking about uh, the new initiatives taken by the Customs Department. First of all, uh, we are all hearing about ease of doing business, a clarion call given by the Prime Minister of India. What are the initiatives taken under the ease of doing business by the Customs? Ease of doing business is the in thing for Customs today. For instance, as far as process driven are concerned, we have over a period of time brought out several facility notices for general public, importers, exporters who are, uh, take, uh, who are participating at this port. And we have reduced documentation. For example, an IGM, which is the first document by which import actually commences from. It's a shipping line document, but that is the beginning point for an import. Now, there, the process has been so simplified that for an, uh, at one point in time, for a particular amendment, you would require about 20, 25 documents. We've brought it to five. Now, this is simplification. Now, we have at the moment at this port about more than uh, almost four dozen persons availing this facility of direct port delivery, which we call DPD, and where within a matter of moments, no sooner the container is landed on the wharf, it is ready for being taken off to the importer's premises because all documentation, all assessment, etc., is completed well in time. As far as legal changes are also concerned, the paradigm change has been introduced by way of what we have been advertising also and is known as SWIFT as it stands for is facilitating the clearances by virtue of an integrated declaration where different partner agencies are concerned. The process is now so simplified that an importer sitting anywhere can file his document 24 by 7 anywhere in the globe and that document even if it is meant for some clearances, statutory controls to be taken from various other regulatory agencies, the document itself traverses, the clearance is given online, and that saves in terms of cost, it saves in terms of time for the importer. Since everything is getting digitized and the paperwork is uh, getting uh, almost too negative, how do you see in the next two years the situation would be like? What would be the percentage of the digitalization we would be achieving in customs? Currently, as far as this port is concerned, we are 99% digitized. We have digitized documentation. We have digitized payment of duty. We have digitized signatures of importers, exporters. So digitization is, you can say, almost as good as 100% as far as this port is concerned. So uh, definitely we heard a lot of initiatives, including the ones like Make in India, pushing of making in India, uh, then Swachh Bharat, also initiatives for ease of doing business. So you name it, every initiative is being carried out by this department in a very nice manner. With camera person Vineet Pednekar, this is Shama Mishra for DD News.